Quite pleased. Quietly pleased. Whoa! Which is a pretty groundbreaking hey, thing. Morning. Now, nice after, of you to well, join us. Better turn that off. Uh, right. So, what we're doing here? <laughs> no, not straight into it. Do you want a cough, cough? Yes, please. I'll go get you cough, cough. Maybe you could do just a little. There's a lot of interesting stuff here that I was doing yesterday. Let's just watch that. That's got ammonia in it. I'm just playing around, seeing if we can come up with something. In fact. Let's do some science. What I'm trying to do is create some verdigris. There we go. Oh wow, look at that. Beautiful blue. What have you done there? Uh, we just had a little bit of copper sulfate to some ammonia. Probably, probably dangerous, but um, I'm just trying to create some verdigris and we're just messing around really. I always think, you know, all of this is about experimentation. You never know, we might end up creating some verdigris, which would make our little copper rivets. Stop saying verdigris as if Verdi I know what you're talking about. Come you on. know, the kind of oxidisation on brass. Um, do we have an example of it? Yes, we do. Just reach over here. That kind of, that, that there, that tip of that, that's verdigris. You know that powdery thing that oxidised copper and brass does? Yeah. Verdigris. Well, aren't you clever? Verdigris. All the watchers at home on YouTube. Verdigris. I think it means green crap in French. Green crap, verdi, green, grease. Green grease? Slime. I don't know. I'm just having a sip. Mm. Let's get you a coffee. Well, uh, I think both of us are a little bit gobsmacked, aren't we, really? Um, we've got our first coat of lacquer on. Um, it's brought the grain up a little bit. You can kind of just feel that it's just slightly pulling. The stuff we've used is a Morals 20% uh, sheen pre-catalyzed lacquer. This stuff changed my life. It goes on so easily. Um, it's a really hard wearing, I mean, this is designed in many respects. It is a furniture finish, but it's almost a floor lacquer. So it's really hard wearing, goes on really well. Um, there's a bit more to do with the finishing. You know, what we'll need to do now is we'll either wire wool this back or we'll probably go for a really high 360 grit just to take that kind of the grain that's lifted a little bit off. Um, and then really we're into kind of fitting the steel work. Um, we know we've got our butterfly ties, our handmade rivets, the washers on the back. They're going to look like, I was just saying then, like almost spinal surgery kind of up the back of the tree. You know, I'm really looking forward to seeing those in place. Um, but yesterday I spent some time for another client and I kind of just manufactured a couple of little bits and pieces um, which we thought would be in keeping. So the idea is really that we're going to kind of fit these somewhere onto the outside. I mean, actually that sits quite nicely there. Um, I think we will have a trace hook just because it's something that I enjoy making. Um, the idea being that you could put a dog lead through there for your dog, which is curled up asleep in here while you're having a couple of boozes down your local pub or whatever it might be. I think what we're gonna do first though is we're gonna start getting some of the butterflies in and get those finished up. Um, see, see this thing really starting to take shape now.
So, well, we've had an idea. So essentially what's happening is we have the circle of the throne. So sometimes what's happening is our washer's going in and then our bolt's going in and it's leaving us this much exaggerated setup like this. So you um and ah and we thought about it. Now the only other thing I can think of doing is taking these bolts and individually popping them in the forge, bending one end round so that they meet up. These are never gonna come out um, once they're in. Yeah, that's, that's never coming out. And then the answer came to us, of course. What we'll do is we'll just weld up the back side and hopefully that'll do it. So we'll just pop a little bit of weld just around there to fill that gap and then sand it back. So it'll be in keeping. Yeah, perfect, look at that. So yeah, the contrast between this dark walnutty colour of the wood and the, um, the steel, bright and kind of radiant, goes really well, I'm really pleased with that. I'm getting rather excited. Yeah, look at that bad boy article brethren. got the welder set up now. We're going to weld around those little, uh, the ends of the rivets to make it look, to give it the impression of a kind of proper domed rivet head. I think both of us agree we'd really like to have set the, um, set the rivets in here kind of traditionally and properly, but I just can't see a way of doing that. And I think really it's probably because we're setting the rivet head through wood. Usually a rivet head would be set through steel. So we've got this kind of combustible material in the kind of interim. You know, maybe there's someone out there who could kind of has done something similar to this, who could be in touch and tell us how they did it. Cause I think that's one thing we would both love to have done um, is actually form the kind of rivets properly. So we're going for the next best thing, which is going to give the impression of exactly what we're trying to achieve. Um, but we, it's, it's going to be slightly easier for us, I think. So it looks like we're doing this ridiculous thing now. So. Uh... Right, well, um, that's gone reasonably well. I think uh, camera lad or camera boy was uh, a little bit, uh, I don't know, he might not be too happy with the way those rivets has gone on, but um, really with Omdenard and we just can't see another way of doing it. Um, these do serve a purpose. These are to protect against this crack splitting. So they're decorative as well. You know, we've gone overboard. We could have done something that was hidden. Um, you know, we could have plugged. But anyway, I think these work really well. They're in keeping with the throne really pleased with the way things are going. Um, so where are we? Um, at this point a few of these bolts because of the irregularities in the thickness of the wood are a little bit too short. Those rivets are fine, they don't dig in. Quite cosy. It's good that we did it at this height isn't it because can you see these like a halo of steel around mm -hmm. my head? Saint Watson. It's a miracle. Wow. <laughs> Filling the workshop with smoke, smoke. Whew. There we go, we almost set the place on fire.
Saint Watson. On his throne of power. <laughs> it's going to your head. Telling people what to do. You go and do that. Bring us some of that. Where's my roast turkey drumstick leg? Big <laughs> I don't know. It's not here. Nobody's obeying the throne of power at this point. <laughs>